Hello, today's video is designed to guide you through a poetry essay writing practice activity. Before you actually start writing your essay, there are some important things for you to consider and I'm going to take you through these elements one at a time in this video. So stay tuned and pay close attention. First up, we're going to look at writing using the PEE -E system. The P system is an, an acronym for something that you need to recall while you are going through your writing activity. So what is the P? Well, P is going to first of all help you to write to impress. When the reader of your essay sees how you have guided them effectively through the answer, they're going to be so impressed once you use the P system. The first P stands for point. You're going to make your point. The second P is that you're going to make an example, which is you're going to take an example from the poem and put it in quotations as your example for the point that you're making. So for example, if your point is uh, that the poem had a simile as a literary device, then you're going to give the example that the literary device simile was represented when the poet said, the river roared like a tiger. Then you're going to follow your example with an explanation. And in the explanation, you're going to explain to the reader how the use of that literary device or your example that you have given, how the use of that example enhanced the poem or the author's writing. You can use the PEE format basically to satisfy the requirements of almost all essays that you write. So it doesn't have to just be poetry. It could be if you're write, writing an essay on a short story, or if you're writing an essay on a passage that you have been given. The PEE format is a fundamental way of proving to the reader that you understand the point that you're making, that you can substantiate the claim that you're making, and that you can own this and make it your own because the explanation is your time to shine and make it your own. Organizing your essay is the next most important thing. You can't just start writing, you can't just jump in, read the question and off you go. The best thing to do is make sure that you develop a clear structure for your essay and a sentence outline to go along with that structure. If you combine structure, sentence outline, and PEE system, you cannot fail as long as you have the knowledge of what you're writing about. So to organize your essay, the first thing you're going to do is provide the reader with an introduction to the topic that you're writing about. Next, you're going to go into the body of your essay, which may be two or three paragraphs, depending on the essay question. Follow that up with a conclusion, and in the conclusion, do not introduce any new concepts. Use some transitional words to help you to sound sophisticated in your writing, and transitional words help to move you through the paragraph by helping the flow of your sentences within your paragraph and can also help to move you from one paragraph to the next. So pay close attention to your transitional words. Stay within the word limit if a word limit is given. If no word limit is given, then write your, just develop your answers fully using the PEE system so that your answers are complete and that you have demonstrated your awareness of the topic. 
What should you include in your sentence outline? Since your sentence outline is the guide to writing, writing your essay, you're going to go back to your essay question and make sure that you extract every item that you are requested to write about. List the paragraphs with numbers. For example, if you're going to have three paragraphs in your essay, paragraph one is going to be about, etc. Include the points that you intend to make and make a checklist for your PEE for each point. Check them off as you write them, and when you're finished writing, ensure that you've completed the PEE for all your points that you intended to write about before you submit that essay. Double check your grammar and double check your punctuation. Make sure everything is perfect before you submit. What does a sentence outline really look like? Okay, so the first paragraph in every essay is an introduction. This goes without saying, by fifth form level, you are expected to know that the first paragraph is an introduction to the topic and some form of thesis statement, which basically indicates to us the direction or the, the order in which your topics will be discussed. Paragraph one, if we're speaking about literary devices in this poem, Paragraph one is going to have point number one, state the device, which is simile, give your evidence, which will be that the river roared like a tiger, give the explanation, the use of this simile, help the reader to understand the strength of the river and the noise it made while it was flowing rapidly. Remembering what we discussed in PE earlier, you would then move on to your paragraph number two, paragraph number three and for every point that you're making in your essay if it is the start of a new point make sure that you are providing the reader with sufficient evidence because the the essay may or may not have a word limit you're going to have to pay close attention to making sure that you're not repetitive do not repeat yourself but at the same time Make sure that you are developing the points completely. Do not leave parts of the question unanswered and do not leave the PEE with only one part of the PEE. So you, 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 you made P but you, and you gave me evidence but no explanation or you made the point but you didn't give me a supporting quotation and you gave me an explanation. I, I want to make sure that you complete all three. So that's it for today's video. Happy writing, everybody.